light of wavelength lambda which is less than threshold wavelength is incident on a photosensitive material wavelength less than threshold wavelength means there is emission of electrons if incident wavelength is decreased so that emitted electrons are moving with some velocity then stopping potential will increase lambda decreases means energy increases energy increases means stopping potential should increase okay now understand this through equation e equal to work function plus kinetic energy work function plus kinetic energy is e times stopping potential and this is h c by lambda if incident wavelength is decreased if this is decreased this is constant so this should increase that is the meaning velocity then stopping potential will increase in a photoelectric effect experiment if both intensity and frequency of the incident light are doubled then saturation photoelectric current saturation photoelectric current means it depends on only intensity not on frequency if intensity is doubled then this also gets doubled is doubled saturation current if intensity is doubled then saturation current also gets doubled now understand through the experiment if this is a metal and this is a source which is giving 10 photons okay as an example 10 photons because of 10 photons maximum say 8 electrons are emitted 8 electrons corresponding to eight electrons there is some current if intensity is doubled intensity is doubled means we are keeping one more source that is also giving 10 photons intensity is doubled number of photons is doubled then number of electrons becomes 16 if number of electrons is doubled then photoelectric current also gets doubled because current equal to charge by time this is doubled means current is also doubled plot of photoelectric current versus intensity of incident light for frequency of incident radiation greater than threshold frequency frequency greater than threshold frequency there is emission then this is the graph graph of photoelectric current versus intensity it is a straight line passing through the origin meaning when intensity is zero current is also zero intensity is zero means when zero electrons are sorry zero photons are falling if no photon is falling then there is no emission of electron that is this point because of 10 photons 10 photons there could be 8 electrons because of 20 photons corresponding to this number number of electrons also increases linearly that is the meaning a straight line passing through the origin one requires 12.5 eva of energy to dissociate a carbon monoxide molecule into carbon and oxygen atoms the minimum frequency of the appropriate electromagnetic radiation to achieve the dissociation lies in it is 12.5 ev it is ultraviolet recall violet is 3 ev red is 1.5 ev energy so energy greater than 3 ev means ultraviolet this is 12.5 greater than 3 therefore ultraviolet the figure shows plot of photo current versus 
anode potential photo current versus anode potential for a photosensitive surface for three different radiations which of the following is correct statement a this is b c a and b represent incident radiations of same frequency but of different intensities a and b a and b same frequencies therefore stopping potential is also same so same stopping potential different intensities therefore heights are different saturation currents are different correct b and c represent b and c represent sorry b and c represent incident radiations of different frequencies since they are of different frequencies there should be different stopping potentials yes stopping potential of b stopping potential of c and different intensities these two are joined here means they should be of same intensity so this second part is wrong therefore no curves b and c represent incident radiations of same frequency b and c same frequency is wrong curves a and b represent incident radiations of different frequencies a and b a and b are of same frequency different frequencies is wrong photoelectrons are emitted from a surface when exposed to certain radiation fine the intensity of incident radiation is quadrupled then the speed of photoelectrons emitted intensity does not affect speed so remains same speed means kinetic energy kinetic energy is affected by energy of incident radiation frequency of incident radiation and wavelength of incident radiation threshold frequency and the threshold wavelength work function and here it doesn't depend on the intensity therefore remains same how kinetic energy depends on these quantities e equal to work function plus kinetic energy that is maximum this is h nu not this is h nu kinetic energy see kinetic energy depends on these two h c by lambda h c by lambda not plus kinetic energy see kinetic energy depends on these two factors work function threshold frequency threshold wavelength energy of incident radiation frequency of incident radiation wavelength of incident radiation so there is no mention of intensity and intensity means it doesn't supply energy number of photons increases so speed of photo electrons remains the same the work function of a given surface is 5.2 ev monochromatic light incident on the surface liberates electrons of kinetic energy 2.8 ev so energy equal to work function plus kinetic energy work function is 5.2 kinetic energy is 2.8 this plus this is 8 ev so energy of incident is 8 ev but in joule therefore 8 into 1.6 ten to the power of minus 19 12.8 10 power minus 19 8 into 1.6 12.8 the work function of ccm is 2.27 ev fine the cut off voltage which stops the emission of electrons from a ccm cathode irradiated with light of 600 nanometer wavelength so let us find is this 600 nanometer sufficient to remove or not if it is sufficient then difference gives the stopping potential or from the difference we can find the stopping potential 
ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ನ್ಯಾನೋಮೀಟರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಮ್ಡ ಇ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಹೆಚ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಹೆಚ್ ಸಿ ಬೈ ಲ್ಯಾಮ್ಡ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಇ ವಿ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಬೈ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿ ಈಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಏಟ್ ಬೈ ಲ್ಯಾಮ್ಡ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಟು ನ್ಯಾನೋ ಇಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ನೈನ್ ಸೊ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೊ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪ ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬೈ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಂಟು ತ್ರೀ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಬೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೂ ಸೊ ಅಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಇ ವಿ ಅಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಇ ವಿ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟೂ ಸೆವೆನ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಎಮಿಷನ್ ಸೊ ನೋ ಎಮಿಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಫೋಟೋ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪಿಂಗ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪಿಂಗ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪಿಂಗ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇ ವಿ ಸೊ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಜೌಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಓಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಜೌಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಬೈ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಐನ್ಸ್ಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಎಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ದಿ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಎಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಮೆಟಲ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಹೂ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಸೊ ಅ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಸೊ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ದಿ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ರಿಮೇನ್ಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ನೋ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ನೋ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮೆಟಲ್ ನೋ ದಿ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಐ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಎಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಪರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಎನ್ then the maximum kinetic energy of emitted electrons is k if the intensity of incident light is doubled if intensity is doubled then number of electrons emitted per second and maximum kinetic energy respectively if intensity is doubled then this doubles the number of electrons whereas kinetic energy remains same therefore 2n and k so intensity intensity of incident light means it is total energy by time by area okay energy by time by area so si unit should be joule per second per unit area which is watt per meter square so intensity is proportional to energy energy is proportional
plot of photoelectric current versus applied voltage is photoelectric current versus applied voltage is a standard graph and what is the speciality of this graph this region represents saturation current saturation current and x intercept gives stopping potential vs photoelectric surface is illuminated successively by monochromatic light of wavelength lambda and lambda by 2 if the maximum kinetic energy of emitted electrons in the second case is 3 times the first case the work function of the surface of the material is so wavelengths are given and they are asking kinetic energy so energy equal to work function plus kinetic energy energy of incident radiation in terms of wavelength h c by lambda work function plus kinetic energy okay for wavelength lambda h c by lambda equal to phi plus kinetic energy for wavelength lambda by 2 h c by lambda by 2 equal to phi plus kinetic energy but 3 times that in the first case so this is 3 we have to find work function so these two are simultaneous equations this two goes to numerator we want work function therefore we don't want kinetic energy coefficient of kinetic energy is 3 therefore multiply throughout by 3 so multiply equation 1 throughout by 3 now observe this minus this is 0 this minus this is 2 phi this minus this is h c by lambda 3 times 2 times difference is 1 time therefore phi equal to h c by 2 lambda h c by 2 lambda the variation of photoelectric current with collector potential for different frequencies of incident radiation nu1 nu2 nu3 are shown then so energy work function kinetic energy with respect to frequency of incident radiation h nu phi plus e times stopping potential if stopping potential is more then frequency should be more so nu1 should be greater than nu2 should be greater than nu3 nu1 greater than nu2 greater than nu3 because stopping potential of this is less than this this is less than this that is why second option the photoelectric threshold wavelength for silver is lambda naught energy of electron emitted from the surface of silver by an incident wavelength lambda lambda less than lambda naught means emission is possible so e equal to work function plus kinetic energy they are asking energy of emitted electrons this e in terms of phi e in terms of wavelength h c by lambda this is h c by lambda naught plus kinetic energy therefore kinetic energy is this minus this take h c common factor 1 by lambda minus 1 by lambda naught search for this option h c no take lcm lambda lambda naught so this becomes lambda naught minus lambda h c so h c lambda minus lambda naught by lambda lambda naught 
rearrange rearrange the equation okay in a photoelectric effect experiment which of the following depends on the frequency of incident radiation threshold frequency photoelectric current stopping potential work function so it is stopping potential analyze e is 5 plus kinetic energy energy in terms of frequency h nu work function plus kinetic energy is half m v square or kinetic energy is charge times stopping potential isn't it so frequency affects velocity kinetic energy stopping potential so stopping potential the quantity which affects threshold frequency is the material if we change the material then threshold frequency of that material changes photo current means this depends on intensity work function threshold frequency threshold wavelength these things depends on material therefore stopping potential is affected by frequency of incident radiation in a photoelectric effect exper experiment which of the following depends on applied voltage so we know this standard graph a graph of photoelectric current versus applied potential so potential affects only current photo current threshold frequency this depends on the material maximum kinetic energy of photo electrons this depends on frequency this depends on wavelength also depends on threshold frequency threshold wavelength energy and then work function number of incident photons number of incident photons affects current but number of incident photons depends on the source isn't it number of incident photons depends on the source if source intensity is more then number of incident photons is more the energy of violet photon of wavelength 410 nanometer is nearly observe these values they are very distinct 3 kilo electron volt 3 point something mega electron volt 10 power 6 3.16 electron volt 320 electron volt it should be 3.16 recall violet red wavelength of violet is about 400 nanometer corresponding energy is 3 ev red is 800 nanometer corresponding energy is about 1.5 electron volt therefore 1.5 therefore 3 electron volt is close to 3.16 and you know how to solve this e equal to h nu h c by lambda because in terms of wavelength and energy in ev means h c by lambda divide this by charge of electron so 6.6 power minus 34 c is 310 power 8 speed of light in vacuum lambda is 4.1 10 power 3 charge of electron is 1.6 10 power minus 19 this one time this approximately four times this this get cancels so it's approximately 3 electron volt simplify 10 powers that turns out to be 10 power 0 10 power 0 is 1 so it is 3 ev 3.16 ev energy of red photon of wavelength 805 nanometer is nearly so red wavelength is about 
800 nanometer or 805 nanometer corresponding energy is 1.5 eV it's about 1.5 eV this is keV and this is 10 power minus 19 let us check in terms of joule 1.5 eV is 1.5 into 1.6 10 power minus 19 charge of electron product of these two is 2.4 10 power minus 19 so 1.6 one time is 1.6 1.6 half is 0.8 sum of these two is 2.4 the stopping potential of a metallic surface illuminated by monochromatic light of wavelength is 4 V0 while for another light of wavelength 3 lambda it is V0 the threshold wavelength of the surface for photoelectric emission is So, lambda to 3 lambda, <coughs> lambda to 3 lambda, 4 V naught to V naught, okay. If this is the case, decrease this number by 1, 3 V naught, 3 into 3 is 9, so it should be 9 lambda lambda to 3 lambda so note down this 3 4 v naught to 3 v naught so 3 3 3 9 9 lambda let us solve e equal to work function plus kinetic energy energy in terms of wavelength hc by lambda work function kinetic energy is charge times stopping potential So, for lambda, for lambda 4 V naught, hc by lambda equal to 5 plus E 4 V naught. For lambda 3 lambda, for 3 lambda, hc by 3 lambda, this is E times V naught. Threshold wavelength of the material threshold wavelength is with phi i should retain phi means i should cancel these two to cancel these two multiply this by 4 4 4 now observe 4 minus this 0 this minus this 3 phi equal to this minus this 4 by 3 minus 1 is 1 by 3 hc by lambda but what is phi? Phi is hc by lambda naught. This implies lambda naught equal to 3 3 hc, hc get cancels 3 3 9. So lambda naught equal to 9 lambda.